Stephen. Mm -hmm. On this election day, nothing is more important than making sure every eligible voter has yeah. every opportunity to vote for the candidates of their choice. But some who went to vote today say that they got quite the shock when they received their ballot. Investigative reporter Bill Spencer has been out all day looking for problems that are hampering voters. And he joins us live now from Aldine, from that Aldine area now with what he's uncovered. Bill. Yes, Keith and Daniela, we did find a couple of different serious problems, one of them involving a handicapped man here at Hill Elementary School in the Aldine area, the second one involving a United States Army veteran who was completely cheated out of voting today. I was not allowed to vote for the people I was supposed to be able to vote for. At 74 years old, Dale Graham, a Vietnam veteran who risked his life for this country, says today, for the first time in his life, he was denied the right to vote. O'Dale's a registered voter, all right, with all the proper identification. But when he came here to Blyle Middle School, once inside the voting booth, he slowly began to realize that the ballot looked nothing like the sample ballot he's been studying for weeks. None of the politicians he was supposed to be voting for were there. And politicians he's not supposed to vote for were. Were you given the ability to vote for the mayor of Houston? Yes, I was. And you shouldn't be, because no, you don't live in the city. Absolutely not. Were you given the ability to vote for council members? Yes, I was. Even more shocking is that when Dale reported what had happened, that a ballot for a city of Houston resident had been given to him when he lives outside the city limits, he says the precinct judge at that location did nothing to fix the problem. She gave the opportunity to vote the right absolutely way. Absolutely not. They told me I'd vote and that's it. They said that's it, you're out of luck. You, you got, you, if you have a problem, you call the registrar's office. And here at Hill Elementary School in the Aldean area, another election problem. This one involving a former school teacher, a handicapped man who's also battling cancer. When he got here, election workers were supposed to bring him a special voting machine, a portable one, to his car so he didn't have to walk into the polling location. But when he got here, they only had one machine and it was broken. I wasn't real happy at all, and that's the reason I called downtown. And when I couldn't get a response down there, that's when I called Ch Channel 2 News. In the end, it took election officials here two hours and 20 minutes to get a working portable machine for Robert to vote on. Can you tell me what the problem was, why these people had to wait for more than two hours? Yeah. Shortly after that, after the polls closed here, I was able to question the head man at this polling location, precinct judge Daniel Garcia. This man has been waiting for more than two hours. Yes. Handicapped um, individual who needed to use Correct. your machine. Yes. What, what happened? What went wrong? One of the machines came broken. And we, he was the, they were the last customers that we had. So we didn't have it, no use it before. I mean, shouldn't you have more than just one handicapped machine? They give me only one for my crew. One for this place? Yes. Is that the standard procedure? Yes. Now, regarding Dale Graham, the veteran who was denied the right to vote, when I contacted the Harris County Clerk's Office, they had not heard anything about that, meaning that the poll workers who dealt with that man never reported it to the head people at the clerk's office downtown. They are investigating now. They still don't know what went wrong and why the ballot for him was completely wrong. We'll try to stay on top of this case over the next couple of days. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bill, thank you for that.